What's going on everybody? My name is Jared Sadden. I hope you're having a wonderful and a phenomenal day. So I put out a video basically, you know, showing how to get unlimited XP within RL Craft, but I thought I would do everyone the justice and make a video on actually the correct way to get XP in RL Craft. And that comes from looting dungeons. Dungeons um, have tons of mobs in them, tons of spawners. And in this video, I just kind of showed you, I wanted to show everyone just my process and how to do it. And along the way, we found some really interesting, like this little house. I have no idea what was going on with this house. I looked at it, I got confused, and of course my rock wasn't helping, so he, uh, I had to get him back here. So yeah, we're flying over. I'm kind of just looking right now for a roguelike dungeon, like a night dungeon, pretty much anything that's uh, spawning mobs. I also got attacked by a dragon here, and I somehow didn't die, which is amazing. This is the first time I've been attacked by a dragon in this game, and I have not died. Thank God. Uh, we were in this one little tower here. I have no idea what this is, but yeah, no, we moved on. I found this thing, which looked really cool. I've never seen this before. I saw that there was, like, pressure plates and stuff here. So you can go down, go right into it. It'll open up, and bam, we got this cool little house and everything. However, you know, no one warned me that there were fucking demons up in upstairs like look at these things there's like it's like it's not halloween anymore like what is this oh damn look at that pumpkin horrible pumpkin i was like nah i'm not dealing with that terrible i was like that thing's gonna destroy me so i was like um something i guess i'll kill it i was like nope i'll go outside get my rock and then oh nope terror from the sky this looked like such a beautiful pleasant peaceful thing and it turned out to be horrible so you know back on our journey got back on the rock we got the night vision bobble okay so this was pretty much our first stop i saw this random thing i had no idea what it was so i thought it was a roguelike dungeon and it clearly wasn't so you open it up and there's like zombies in there and i was like okay well this is a good place to start so my sword has education 2 on it which gives you a good amount of xp um you know regardless of whatever whatever you're doing but yeah there's tons of zombies being pumped out of this thing and i've no i think there were spawners going in so i just said you know what we're just gonna we're just gonna do it we're gonna start here start unloading and um the amount of zombies it was pumping out was honestly overwhelming at points um, you know, but I just kept going with it. I trusted my armor, tr trusted my life steal on my sword. Um, and then this happened. I got light, elect lightning or el like electricity on my screen. And then, and then look at this, look at this horse, this horse crap. I got, I got stuck in a web. They put me in a web and I just got mauled by a horde of zombies. It's like, are you kidding me? And then I was just, I, I couldn't handle it. I was freaking out. Pretty sure I recalled home immediately after this. Um, cause I was like, this is just, this is not happening. And that's the one thing in RL craft you have to realize is that sometimes you just have to pick your battles. The most times that I've died in this game has been me being overconfident. Overconfidence will kill you in this game. I couldn't imagine being overconfident in hardcore RL craft cause that was, that would just not work. Okay. So we're flying here. We found this other thing. I don't even know if you can call this a roguelike dungeon, but there's a ladder, which was very different from all the other dungeons I've seen. Um, you know, we're still only at 2 XP. We're not really getting tons of XP right now. Um, but yeah, you know, we're still trucking our way through here, killing chupacabras, killing these flying things and whatever, using my Aegises to be able to, uh, help clear out some of the, some of the s terrible mobs and everything. Um, but yeah, we're still pushing through, you know, trying to work our way through it. At this point, I felt pretty confident, um, that I was going to be able to get some really good things. And then of course, you know, it's not our own craft unless the worst possible situation could happen. Got launched into lava, recalled home. I'm running low on recall potions at this point in the video. I gotta tell you. So we hop back on the on the rock. We're looking through. I found this underwater dungeon, which looks kind of interesting. Um, and like I said, I'm really not good at this game. And I realized that my hearts, my air bubbles were going down. And I was like, fuck. Well, let's swim to the surface. Oh, wait, no, I'm gonna die. We got a recall home. It's either you have great success in this game or you just have no success. Okay, so we're back flying through here, going back on our journey to try to find one of these dungeons. Um, I found the Cyclops on the way, which I thought was a great thing to take down. I decided to take him out, kill him, move on, see what I got. I got some XP, so that was still a part of the journey. The whole point of this video is, you know, to show how to get XP. So, you know, I was like, you know, that's easy to get. Okay, so we found another roguelike dungeon here. Went down here. Tons of spiders. I'm not really a big fan of cave spiders because they're a pain to deal with, but you know, there's a spawner on the ceiling. I was like, what's the worst thing that can happen? You know, like what possibly could, you know, be a problem? Oh wait, there's lag. I don't see any mobs. There's no mobs. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I, I, I don't know. There, just look at them. And then somehow I drowned to death. I have, if someone could leave in the comments below why I drowned, 
there, that would be awesome. But I don't know. I took a grave scroll, got back, got all my stuff. We were all safe and sound. Nothing was there. And yeah, I just kept pushing my way through it, um, trying to get more XP. I got these tomes on me, trying to give myself, you know, as much, getting as much XP in there as possible. Um, the goal of this for me was, I should have brought more XP tomes, but the goal was to get two of these, um, two of these tomes completely, completely filled up so that I could, uh, you know, just use them at a, at a different point. Um, but yeah, we were getting slaughtered here. Um, yeah, and then I saw, oh my god, I've never seen one of those before, which was absolutely terrible. And, um, I'll just, I'll just let the gameplay speak for itself of what happened here. Hello there. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, and then we recalled the hell out of there. Alright, well, we're back on our journey. Still looking for a roguelike dungeon. Um... At this point, I was out of recall potions, so I needed to make some more. Made some, got back on the journey. We're flying around, trying to find just something else. We found this uh, corruption biome, which I know it's not the proper term, but that's what it is in Terraria. And then we found this roguelike dungeon. Now, you can see over the course of these next clips, you're going to see my XP just shoot through the roof. So once you get once you get comfortable, a good position in one of these roguelike dungeons, you just slowly work your way through and kill as many mobs as you physically can. See right there, we got 27 XP. Still killing, still slaughtering. And I prefer to go to these dungeons. There again, got 28 XP right there too, put right back in there. I prefer going to these dungeons over the Lycanites because it's a lot easier and the mobs are, you know, more normal to deal with, except those bats. Fuck those bats. But you just keep pushing through, um, keep killing, make sure you have a bunch of uh, regen potions. I found a bunch of regen potions within the dungeon, which helped out helped out a huge amount. Um, it's allowed me to stay down there a lot longer and uh, to keep pushing through. But yeah, our levels are just, you know, skyrocketing. The whole point of this video for me, as a side note, was to get Magic 32, um, which we successfully did not do. Uh, I think we only got to like level 30 by the end of this. Um, but again, it's so easy. I've only been in this this is uh, over the course of like about uh, an hour of footage. So I successfully got all like, you know, 30 levels like multiple times over the course of like a 20 minute period just being in here with Education 2 and just slaughtering these. Because you can see how many things are like in there. Um, yeah, pop to health potion. We're still fighting. We're still looking around. Just trying to get as many mobs as possible. Like there are some good stuff in the chests. I was hoping to find some gas tiers. I didn't sadly. Um, but yeah, we just kept pushing through, collecting that XP, grinding, rinsing, and then uh, at this moment here, I believe that I got a little bit, uh, a little freaked out. I had about two and a half hearts, and I was like, I gotta get out of there, but I left with 30 levels still. Yeah, but thank you so much for everyone for tuning into the video and watching this week. If you liked the video, please leave a like, share, and even leave a comment, or subscribe if it helps. I've been posting a lot of RL Craft stuff lately, and thank, I just want to say thank you so much for the recent support on all of it. Also, you can find me on Twitch at Zadlifts. We stream almost every single day. And yeah, so again, I hope everyone has a wonderful and a phenomenal day. Stay safe, and go get that XP.